became totally fascinated by the medieval mindset, the way that the, in the Middle Ages, um, magic and superstition was part of their everyday life. People were living caught in a world of, of, of sort of magic, superstition, fear, religion. If you went into a church in those days and you saw the images that were painted on the walls of hell and damnation and demons and things like that, you would realise that people in those days really grew up with magic and myth and, and fear and horror as part of their everyday lives, really. Religion and superstition played um, an integral part in the lives of the medieval people and they were very tied up together. Childbirth was an incredibly dangerous time in the Middle Ages. Many mothers died in childbirth and many children were still born or died shortly after childbirth. But if labour really got difficult, um, then they would often fall back on the folk religions um, and the folk beliefs that went way back um, before the date of Christianity. And one of these things would be that they would ask their neighbours or their relatives to sit round them and unravel a shawl or a piece of knotted cord. And the idea was that as you unloose the threads of this garment or this piece of rope, so you would be loosing, loosening the baby from the womb and the baby would come out much more easily. It's one of the things that I think as historical novelists that we can really do is to give a voice to the voiceless, the, the ordinary people of history, not necessarily the kings and queens. It's these people who are written out of history that we can, as historical novelists, give their rightful place in history and give a voice to them and make them heard for the first time, really. <laughs>